Hello my lovelies, I am back and this feels so weird. I hope everyone's doing really well. Um, I'm doing okay, I'm not too bad. Um, I have been back from Turkey for a couple of days now. Um, so yeah, I've um, had to go and do a shop and I've got Matthew to take me to Aldi because my mum is not very well. I'm sorry if you can hear Rocky in the background, as per usual. He's making loads of noise and he's having a drink because he's been running around like a madman after I bought the shopping bags in and he's got his nose in them looking for his toy. And of course, I've got him a toy because Aldi has dog toys. You are done now, making all that noise. So yeah, I've been back from Turkey for a couple of days now. Um, if you're new here or you have not seen anything previously to this, um, my nan sadly passed away and she does live in Turkey. So I flew over with the family um, for her funeral and then we just stayed there. I think it was, I think it was eight or nine days. I think it was nine days we were there for. So yeah. Um, I was so worn out when I got back because where my nan lives, she lives in Cash, which is in Turkey. Um, so I flew into Dalaman Airport. Um, it's a two hour journey to Cash, but me and my mum flew in a day early. So we stayed at a hotel, waited for my family to arrive the next day. And then we got the same transfers um, because our um, hotel was only down the road from the airport. When they flew in and got their transfers, they picked us up on the way and then we travelled to Cash, which is over two hours um, in the transfers as well. Um, and Cash is very, very hilly, so I have done a lot of walking uphill and downhill, obviously, but yeah. And the hotel had no lift and we were on the second floor, so it was five flights of stairs because it's one, one flight up to the actual staircase and then you've got two to first floor two to second floor so yeah it was it was hard going but we did it um but yeah my mum didn't feel very well while we were on holiday we actually came back two days early we had to actually rebook the flight but i'm going to tell this story um in another vlog anyway you are all here to see my Aldi haul so I'm just going to jump straight into it and show you what I've been buying did spend quite a lot but I'll tell you in the end how much I actually came to I'll show you the receipt so yeah let's um get looking at what I've bought I've got a few things on the side so I'm just going to move my camera over there and just show you what I've got and then obviously like I normally do lift the bags up and then I'll show you what I've got in the bag so let's go over here so on the side over here I've got some Warburton's Toasty Soft Thick of White Bread. I've got some the little bottles of sparkling water. So you get six in there. I've got two lots of those. Um, I've got, is this 12 bottles? Yeah, 12 bottles of still water. Eight cans of Coca-Cola Zero. Some plums. And 12 British free range eggs. So that's everything on the side. Oh, over here as well. Matthew, let's move that up out of the way. Matthew got some Red Bulls. This is a two pack. I've never seen the two packs before. I've seen the four pack ones. And then he got a Dr. Pepper as well out of the um, fridge. So let's pop you back up on here. Right, so now you're back up on there. I'm going to get the first bag and you can see what I've been buying. So I'm going to so do my cool bag first. I'll do this one first. It's got to move my laptop out of the way. Laptop. I took my laptop with me, I took my camera with me and I hardly got any footage on my camera. I mostly did it on my phone. I got some footage on the camera. Um, but I was there to just basically spend some time with the family, not to vlog. So I did get a little bit and um, I will do a little vlog with that in, not in this one. So yeah, you will see a bit of cash. Right. So next, uh, next thing, first thing out of the bag, we've got some raspberry trifles. Got these for Matthew, you get three in a pack. I've got some Almly double cream. It's the brand of cream with the flappy lid without, well, without any lid basically. It's just the foil thing. I've got 
some extra fine green beans. I didn't actually pick these up. These were actually left on the side of the till. And because the lady on the till got me to put the... Um, like the red thing on the end to say that they were closing after me um and then when i was going through she said oh these are on the end are they yours and i said they're not but just whack them in anyway so i've got some extra fine green beans i've got some beef mince 20 percent fat so i've got this for rocky i've got some mature cheddar some barbecue pulled pork we like to have the this in wraps i've got some mozzarella uh grated mozzarella that's my receipt i'll show you that in a bit I've got some piccolo tomato a bit samey isn't it i'm actually going to get something out now that i don't normally get and i thought they looked quite nice these are the pork carbonara meatballs you get 12 in a pack it says blended with Italian inspired seasoning and tangy cheese. So I thought that would be really nice. It's like um, a pasta dish with meatballs. Got some raspberries. We've got some yogurt in the fridge that needs using up. So I like to have it with raspberries. I've got some rich and creamy coleslaw for um, jacket potato. And we could also have it with the um, pulled pork as well. Got some hummus everyone want to say hello to Matthew hello hello <clears throat> ah Matthew <laughs> why are you so talkative on your vlog but you're not on mine <laughs> oh no sorry oh, no. Yeah. I'm not sneaking up on me I'm breaking my dog sneak it up oh, on me no. You sneaked up on that. Are you okay? You're just sneaking up on me. Oh, no. oh. We'll find some treats. Let's find some treats out the bag. I found them. I found them. Be fun to see. Pondy River. Pondy Dark. <coughs> oh, I'm breaking my dog. I can't find my dog. Are you okay? Good boy, day. Got Rocky some mini nibbles with beef and cheese. She's got me some of these because I'm taking them now, right? Gonna eat them now. Monster Munch beef flavour jumbo sharing pack, it says. Sharing. I'm gonna save you some. Got some purple sprouting broccoli. broccoli. Yeah, probably. Why? Because I've got my live tonight. First live. Yeah, Matthew's got his first live on TikTok tonight, so I will... What time's it going live? Between 6 and 7. So between 6 and 7, so I will put this... So I'll put this live about 5 then, yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll get this up about 5 o'clock, and I will put some information here yeah, in the description. If you want channel, tell them to say that, say hello when they say hello. If you come, if you go over to Matty's TikTok from my channel, make sure you say hello. They would have done that anyway. But yeah, I'll put all the details in the description box below and you can uh, go and say hello to them. Right, so I've got some thick and creamy strawberry luxury layered live yogurt. They look delicious. Look at them. Oh, yes. Want one of them. Got some Metal Mowbray mini pork pies. And some lean turkey mints. I've got this for Rocky as well. So I'm going to mix the lean. Uh, mix the lean. Going to mix the turkey and the beef mint, mints together. To make a big pot of food. I've got some English Blossom Honey Roast Thick Cut Wiltshire Ham for sandwiches. <clears throat> some chestnut mushrooms. And they actually have 30% off. I didn't actually notice the 30% off until I got to the till. But just see on here, best before the 10th of October. But these last ages. There's no way that they're literally going to go. It's the 10th of October today, actually. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Seen some of this. And it says, I'm new. It's the whipped soft cream cheese spread. Look at that. Looks delicious. So, yeah. Have some of that on some crackers, probably. 
with some cucumber. I ate so much cucumber in Turkey. They, they have it with their breakfasts, but their cucumber is so much crunchier in Turkey. Um, yeah, every day I was having cucumber, I was having um, plums and tomatoes and cheeses, boiled eggs. They did fresh bagels as well with sesame seeds on it, but I was I was having to watch the uh, bagels with the sesame seeds because still haven't got my tooth done because I had to cancel the appointment to go to Turkey and now I'm not booked in until 25th of October, so <clears throat> kept getting them caught in the tooth. But I've I've had to go and get some of that aura gel again today, so topped up with that again. It's costing a fortune. It's like 5.99 for the little tiniest tube of it. But anyway, yeah, got a cucumber. I've got a medium whole chicken, so this will go in one of the sides of the air fryer. Um, yeah, put the whole thing in. I've got some bacon lardons, I thought these could go in, so half of them to go in the pasta dish that I do with the meatballs, and then half to go in um, to like a sausage casserole or something. I've got some sausages in the freezer, so of them. I've got some dry cured smoked streaky bacon, some chicken thigh fillets, some medium pack, um, here's a pack of Rocky's special quinoa pumpkin and some flower seed microwave full rice, so he has that in his mint and vegetables. Um, I haven't got anything like this in the freezer so I've got to top it up, so I've got some salt and pepper fries and some sweet potato fries. Um, Matthew picked some round trees fruit pastel lollies, and I got two of the semi skimmed long life milk, and I think that's it for the yeah, that's it for the chilled bag. So I'm going to whack this away and then I will get on to the second and final bag. Oh, lips are so sore. I'm telling back in England with my lips cracking. I think it was that wind when we had the uh, car door open. Car door open, car window. What am I in now? Right. Oh, this is a heavy one. This is my cupboard toiletries. Everything else, basically. So Matthew's got his um, crunchy nut. Jesus Christ, this is a small box, isn't it? Three, three hundred grams. One ninety nine, I think that is. It's not too bad, I suppose, but it's a little treat for him. Um, got some of these as well. These actually, they don't look too bad actually, like calorie wise either. These are mini poppadoms, yogurt, mint, and coriander. I'm thinking of making a curry tonight actually, so I might have some of these curry. And then he also picked some mango chutney flavour. They look nice. Um, I couldn't resist. Um, I am actually going to try and be good now. I'd, I've said that before I came home. I was really, really good with my eating I'm in Turkey. I didn't have any snacks at all. I had one ice cream that my cousin got me on the way home from a meal sort of halfway through the time away and then I didn't have anything else after that um so I got myself some of the chalk nibbles the posh ones you know the ones with the um that are coated in milk chocolate so got some of them and couldn't resist the milk chocolate rich tea biscuits which actually ain't that bad for you rich tea biscuits are like hardly anything so then so Matthew's got his malted uh milk milk chocolate ones. I'm going to try and avoid them ones and just stick to my rich tea. Got some tortilla wraps. We just have the mini wraps when we have the pulled pork um, and then we have, I either do like some sort of potato in it so either a hash, hash brown or like crispy potatoes or something and then a slice of, might we turn that down a bit? Yeah and then a slice of like burger cheese so we do like that Matthew picked up some 
crumpet thins now i would say they were pikelets that's what that's what i would think that the thin crumpets are they're normally called pikelets so yeah i don't know let me know what you think are pikelets different to crumpets because these just literally look like flattened crumpet crumpets which i always thought were, were pikelets so let me know i said pikelets back a few times there I got Rocky some mini bone treats with chicken, beef and lamb. So he's, he's, I think he had his last baker's treat before we went out earlier. Uh, I got some chip sticks. Um, these are the proper Smith's ones, six in a pack. I didn't really look at the Aldi crisp because I normally get the Aldi version, but we just sort of skipped out that aisle and just went round to like the... Um, bar bargain buys what am I about the special buys so I did pick up something in special buys and I'm going to show you in a minute I just I couldn't resist I'm trying to cook back and I just couldn't resist it's nothing big but I'll show you in a minute um I've got some egg tagliatelle I thought we could have this with our um meatballs I think I'm just going to make like probably like a spicy creamy sauce with it um i got some of the liqueur invisible antiperspirant deodorant now i did try the liqueur not liqueur one the little one a few weeks ago and i did think it was all right and then the next time i tried it i thought it made me stink so i'm going to try the liqueur one now i'm pretty sure this is the one that my mum took away with her and i did try some of it and it was all right so thought I'd give it a go because the sure one is 199 and I think this was 99p and it's exactly the same size it just says well anti-white marks um me and Matthew use the same deodorant by the way so cheaper chips um picked up some of the Lunex ultra towels so they're just like the always ultra um you get 14 towels these are just the um size one normal the wings 49p absolute bargain got some carrots these are 50p uh, there's the other quinoa pumpkin and some flower seeds micro rice for rocky i picked up two tins of plum tomatoes enriched tomato juice because i didn't i, I, I didn't know whether we actually had any because i've been away i didn't know whether matthew had used any so we couldn't remember but you know they're pretty cheap and it's good to have plenty of tins of them they're nice to go with bacon sandwiches and then i always put them in curries in my sausage casserole so yeah they will get you used um i've got some basmati rice um i thought that i needed some and i did because it's completely empty so I need to fill up the rice and i've got some celery so this was in there <clears throat> you know when they have at the when you first go in the shop and at the end of one of the aisles they have the bargain fruit and veg for that week i can't remember what it's called now um but this was down it was only 39p and this is the base of my casserole so um i might put some i'm going to check actually whether dogs can eat celery because if they can i might whack some of this in rocky's food as well I think that'll be good for him. I'm going to check though. I've got some onions. These were also in the cheap veg bit. Let me have a look how much these were. Because I've, I've got Matthew to pick them up last minute. Because I didn't know whether we had any um, onions. So I just, I just said to grab them while they were there. It's 95p for three large onions. That's not too bad. I'm getting low on washing liquids so i just got this almat two-in-one bio gel which is the lavender and chamomile one i've used that before and it's really nice it's just like the the bold two-in-one um um quick so beef stock cubes i do like the beef oxo but they didn't have any beef oxo in there so got some of those and i've got some albert bartlett potatoes because you literally you can't do better than these potatoes especially when it comes to mash and I do like proper good decent mash when I make a casserole. So I had to pick up some of those. They're one ninety nine. They are. <clears throat> I've seen these. I haven't seen these before. It doesn't say I'm new, but these are pretzel pit, 
pretzel pieces jalapeno flavor i thought they looked quite nice as a little snack um they're not too bad calorie wise with sugars and um and fat so yeah got some of them um and matthew seen this really cute pumpkin look at that now that was 99p so it weren't cheap but how cute is that so that's just going to be our little display piece we'll probably put it in the living room next to like isabel's pictures and you know decorate for halloween so yeah got one of them cute so for my special buys i've got some of this old bay seasoning for seafood chicken meats vegetables and more great since 1939 um I mean, the reason why I picked this up was Matthew thought the tin was really cool and it does actually look proper old school, like like you would get like in the war with the little pool type. You know, like the old um, custard tins. Um, it says loved in the USA. So yeah, it's a USA one. A bold blend of 14 herbs and spices, perfect for enhancing any dish with its unique flavor. I thought, that looked quite cute. I think that was two forty nine, so it wasn't cheap, but that's the sort of thing that's going to last ages. So, I've got some of that. Then I've seen these. This is the Pataks Hot Spice Paste. Um, now, I used to buy the Pataks Madras Curry Paste, and my son Marcus absolutely loved it. Um, he does do a lot of chicken and rice dishes, and... <clears throat> he like seasons the chicken when he fries it and this is um like a paste that you can actually just put over like chicken and vegetables um or you could make a curry out of it so i got this one it's a six <laughs> servings and it's the hot one and it is actually vegan as well so if you're vegan this is vegan friendly so i've got one for marcus and kelsey and one for us so they were 1.99 each and you get 135 grams in them and then this is my little autumnal halloween cute little candle because i don't think i've bought many candles this year i know i was gifted that massive pack of candles um but yeah i haven't bought many and i thought this was so cute i absolutely love the color i love orange it's a pumpkin spice one with a cute pumpkin on the front with a wooden lid and it smells absolutely amazing. It's just a one wick candle. So, got one of those. I think that was $2.49 as well. So, let me just have a look how much that was. <coughs> oh, pardon me. $2.89 that was, but that and that. How cute are they? They are going to be going in my living room. I'm going to light that candle tonight because it smells absolutely amazing. So, you're going to want to know how much I spent. So, today I spent £116.15. There we go. And I'm just going to quickly hold up the receipt if you want to... I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that. If you want to check out the prices of things. Just pause it. There we go. All done. That is my pretty big food haul. Like, I think I've got quite a lot of things, actually. Do you think we've got a lot of stuff, Matty? I think we got a lot of stuff. He did, I mean, because I said that I didn't want to go to Morrison's. We needed to pop in Morrison's for something anyway, but I didn't want to do my full shop there because the the little shop that um, we went and got Matthew before I went away came to like £79 or something, and it was like two piggly meals and a couple of snacks and drinks. and I just don't think we got enough from money. We've got loads of stuff here, so... I mean, look all the drinks we've got as well. Got a lot. So anyway, yeah, like I said before, Matthew's going live today between 6 and 7. I'm going to link all the information in the description box below. So go over and show him some love. I also will put his YouTube channel in the description box below as well because he just puts some shorts on there sometimes. 
and um, if you're new here please subscribe to my channel give this one a like and also share my channel if you can to all your friends and family and also leave me a comment just ask any question or saying what you think about shot whatever so yeah i'm gonna go now and i'm gonna love you and leave you i'll see you in my next one